All right, now before we actually jump into the episode, I quickly wanted to thank you guys so much for the support on the Super Bowl winning episode. I told you guys at the end of the video, if you told me your favorite moment of the season, I was going to buy a few people lunch. I really wasn't expecting that many comments. I didn't think that many people would watch all the way to the end. I was obviously wrong. We got the most comments I think we've ever gotten on a video ever, which is absolutely insane. I bought as many of you guys as I could lunch, but don't worry. Every time we win the Super Bowl, we are doing a giveaway. This is a journey with you guys as well, getting better at Madden. And obviously the end goal is winning an MCS championship, winning a belt one step at a time, baby. And it starts again here in this episode. Finally, we are back with our Browns CFM series. We have an absolutely action packed episode for you guys here today. Crossing! Let's go, Keon Cross it, man. Come on, baby. It's a big defensive play to start. Now, we're pretty much picking up where we left off. Week 12 before the bye week, we flooded the Ravens. But I knew that was an off game from them. I said it at the time. I know the second time we play them here in week 14, we're going to get a lot better version of our opponent. And this is a big game. Even though we already flooded the Ravens because we've lost, you know, to two other opponents, if we don't win this game, we won't get the one seed. And that's very important, right? We need the first round buy. I don't want to play a first round game. I want the guaranteed money. I want the home field advantage. That means we have to beat the Ravens here in week 14. But obviously that's going to be incredibly difficult to do. Just because we did it once doesn't mean it's going to happen again. He's going to play a lot better this time around. And you guys can see there, he actually hits me with some sort of glitch. It looked like he like ran play action, immediately canceled it, and then just zoomed in the end zone with Lamar Jackson. And then he just zooms here on the run cross body deep down the field perfect throw i mean lamar jackson is literally unfair in cfm the defenders are way too slow to keep up with him he's faster than all of them and then on top of it he has a skate artist which makes him literally 10 times as fast as them in previous years i've always gone to cfm in the summers because i played you know i played mutt all year round and then i got tired of the 99 speed 99 zone you know everyone having every ability the golden tickets which just dropped in madden 22 and uh, CFM was always a really nice changeup, right? We had to play a simpler version of the game. However, I feel like it's the complete opposite this year. For the first time ever, with the AP system and the way it's set up right now, almost nobody is using escape artists. If you play 25 weekendly games, you're maybe playing one or two escape artists. Whereas like in CFM, especially these competitive ones where we're playing for thousands of dollars with all pros, you're playing escape artists like every game and it is incredibly challenging to face. And we've talked about it so many times this year and uh yeah it's already killed putting on some moves right here i mean reek is incredibly overpowered as well he's just so much faster than every defender and then we just throw an absolute beam up the seam i'm um, basically dr seuss out here uh rashawn bateman though i mean yeah have you ever seen worse tackling but going back to what i was saying is cfm is just kind of I, I feel like it's a lot easier than mutt right now i i know that's kind of a crazy thing to say but i i really feel like it is i think going forward i'm only gonna join uh, CFMs with no escape artists. Now, obviously, you know, in our Panthers League, we won the Super Bowl running around with escape. So don't get me wrong. You know, if it's in the game and I have it, I'm going to use it, but I would really prefer not to. I feel like I'm pretty good passing the pocket. I think I proved it this game, even though, you know, we lost or we're probably going to lose unless we get this onside right here. Yeah, no chance. Um, I haven't gotten an onside all year. But I feel like we played pretty well offensively. You know, we made, what, one or two mistakes maybe on offense. We just couldn't get a stop. That was the problem that game. We played great defense the first time we played this guy. And then this time around, just no chance. We had some opportunities. I just didn't play well defensively. So we're going to lose out on the one seed, which means at best, we're going to be the five. But fortunately for us, the Colts is kind of a weak team. So I'm hoping we match up with them. They're going to win the AFC South. I'm doing the math here. And there's just no chance we can get the one seed. And that's basically exactly what happened. We end up getting the five seed, which is pretty good. I got the matchup I wanted. We are taking on the 13 and four Indianapolis Colts. And... I say this is the matchup I wanted. Now, he's 13-4. He won the South, and this is a pro player. Like, he plays Madden for his job. His name is Goose Guy. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of ridiculous to say that is the matchup that I want. But out of all the possible first-round matchups, I feel like we easily have the best one. It just tells you how loaded the AFC side of the bracket is. Astro, you know, Kiv, 
a T hammers the seven seed and he, even he's really good for a YouTuber not being a pro but David T you know the one seed the Ravens who gave us trouble in our last game so this is gonna be an absolute dogfight if we expect to make a deep run and I'm not looking forward to much I'm just trying to win here in the first round over a very solid opponent I just don't want to get first rounded I want to make some extra money and we'll just take it one game at a time Ah, first throw out of bounds. I wanted to highball it just to make sure we don't throw a pick on the first play. Probably didn't need to, but we can live to die on another down. Or not live to die, but live to throw another dot. <laughs> All right, so we know this time he's blitzing right here. We got throw detector, which is nice. I'm going to uh, counter the blitz here by going two wheel routes. Let's go, Chubb. Way to fall forward, baby. Love to see that. Come on. Tyreek Hill over top. What an absolute dot, man. I figured that would work. He was putting his left safety in a middle third, which was kind of holding up that normal cover three beater we do at the S post going all the way to the left. So I figured if we motion out the guy and kind of occupy that outside third on the right, we would have a seam wide open up the middle, especially with a 99 speed receiver. And that's exactly what happened, man. 200 IQ play right there. Time for you to stop. We oh, actually has a touchdown. He didn't see it. Miles Garrett, come on, baby, go get him. Ah, I should be using JOK, man. That could have been a pick with Acrobat. Great defense. Come on, baby. One more. One more. Tackle, come on, Keon Crossing, baby. What a stand right there. Perfect defense. Beautiful, man. Come on, get a two-possession lead right here. Oh, that was a dot to Michael Thomas. Again, I highballed it just to make sure, and those highballs are just so inconsistent in the red zone. Nick Chubb, what a catch! Let's go, man! We got the backfield mismatch on him. We actually switched his position from running back to fullback because he gets backfield mismatch and then I think tank, which you can't get both on a running back unless you're like an 85 overall receiving back, which Chubb isn't. Oh my, what? I had a perfect click on, so I made up the outside corner on the running back and clicked onto Keon Crossan, who has Acrobat super early because I, I saw he would do that. And somehow we don't get it. We, we get an animation, but it's a terrible one. Wow. Oh, Keon, you got some opportunity to make some plays, baby. We're, we're all over that. Howard cuts that off. Perfect defense, baby. Come on, go get him. Go get him. Come on. Let's go, man. Come on. One more. He missed the read. Oh, he saw it super late. Out of bounds. No, that was so close. Ah, man. All right, maybe not. Good dot. That threat detector ability in the offensive line is so good, man. Make sure you guys get those if you're playing CFM. Get the post-ups. Get the threat detector. You can actually rock both if you have a high enough overall offensive alignment with Superstar. It's just so nice to have. Chubb, get off me, baby. Come on. Fight, Chubb. Let's go. Up to the 25. Love to see that. Brady, what a throw cross body. An absolute dot to Michael Thomas, man. We take the 14-point lead. As long as I make this extra point, man, I am K Mac Parkey, but not right here. We take the 14-point lead. We left him with only nine seconds. That was an absolutely clinical drive. 
Let's go dot. Yeah. Uh, I tried to get back to it, just too late. Good dot. We did not make him work on that drive, ladies and gentlemen. Reek down the seam. What a catch. Would have loved for that to be a touchdown. That's an absolute dot there from Tom. Dot, Anthony Schwartz, man. When he drags that guy in, we know he's blitzing and he's getting super aggressive with his zones. It's too easy. Oh, that wasn't open, man. Come on. All right, fourth down. Make a stand right here. Out of bounds. Let's go, man. Perfect defense again. Let's go. Come on, man. Put him away. Score seven. I'm going to try to hit him with one of these spin moves, though. I can't lie. Oh, yeah, Chubb. Oh, yeah, Chubb. Chubb. There's one guy between you and Pater, and we can't truck him? Come on, man. Chubb. Come on, baby. Hit him with the stiffy. Let's go. And he's out of here, baby. GG's. We take down the four seed at the Colts. Small upset, maybe. Well, at least according to the seeds. Uh, we take them down there in the first round of the playoffs. We move on to the divisional round of the playoffs. It's going to be hard, though, man. We're going to have to either play Lamar Jackson. We're going to have to play David T with the Chiefs. We're going to have to play Kiv or Astro. I mean, there is no one bad left whatsoever. Every game from this point forward is going to be an absolute hell game. We are taking on the 15 and two, the one seed, the Baltimore Ravens. Now we split the regular series matchups one to one, but this guy has an insane team. He knows what he's doing as well. Definitely a very solid player. I would say without question, we are the underdogs in this game. But that's not going to stop me from believing in myself and believing that we can win this game right here. And I know that sounds a bit corny, but this game is for a lot of money. This is a $400 game of Madden. And then on top of that, you have the chance to make up to $2,500 if you win the Super Bowl. So there's a lot of pressure on this game. We have to win this. Now we quickly want to take a look here at the updated playoff bracket. Only one game has been played so far in the divisional round. The Saints take down the Bucks in overtime. The first carry of OT, 98 carry Leonard Fournette coughed up the football the Saints scoop it and score it to take home this six point victory Blake takes on Kobo the two seed the Packers and then over here on the AFC side of things we would play either the Chiefs which is David T or Astro who is the Dolphins and of course I'm not looking too far ahead because this is probably gonna be our toughest matchup here we're taking on again the guy with the best record in the league he has the best roster he's got Lamar Jackson here with 96 speed escape artist he's got the honey badger Marlon Humphrey Ronnie Stanley with abilities Kyle Pitts the best tight end in the game with 91 speed and X Factor Jeffrey Simmons Kevin Byer. I mean look at all the superstar abilities everybody Bobby Wagner Michael Pierce is the first guy we've seen here without abilities but don't worry Brandon Brooks the next player up here with superstar I mean this team is just absolutely loaded from top to bottom he's got a 98 speed receiver of course the new Cardinal Marquise Brown Rashad Bateman 93 speed six foot 85 overall Kristen Fulton I mean this this the squad is absolutely incredible the amount of superstars on this team is the highest I have ever seen you know he's got Stevens down here with 91 speed I believe he's got I, I, Chris Westry is somewhere on here. I would imagine he's at the bottom. There he is, six foot four, 94 speed. You know, arguably the best user in the game. So this is going to be an uphill battle, like I said. But I believe in myself, man. I'm going to go out there. I'm going to give him my best shot. And I promise you guys, we're winning this football game. Crossing. Let's go. Keon Crossing, man. Come on, baby. It's a big defensive play to start. Let's go. Chubb, come on Chubb, lower the shoulder baby, we love to see the physicality, let's go man, we're ready for this game, come on now, Reek, turn on the Jets, Reek, don't get caught, oh, where did, where did Peters come from, I should have swerved a little bit to the right, right after we made the first guy miss, oh, I was trying to scramble to the left and just throw the ball away and Brady got like stuck right there, oh my goodness, 
Can't take a sack right there, okay, Mac? We gotta be better than that, baby. Wow, and it gets overthrown. Oh, man, not for six. Wow. I felt like it was wide open. I don't know if I'm tripping or what. It said under pressure. And it really just got sailed right there. Oh my goodness. I have Fearless on Tom Brady. I have the Fearless ability, which guarantees no under pressures in the pocket. But obviously it just didn't work right there. I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. I, I have Fearless on. You can see it right there. Immune to defensive pressure on the pocket, but obviously not the case. We just got it under pressure. Up into the end zone. Let's go, baby. Come on. Ooh, that was close. Acrobat almost went crazy. Ah, uh, Pitts is so fast, bro. Newsome. Ah, uh, good dot. No! Wow. Fumble! Pick it up! Let's go! Cross it! Get out of there! No! Oh my god! We gotta scoop and score that! But another great stop, man! Come on! Getting a blitz. Reek! Oh, I thought we had him. Good defense. At least it wasn't picked off. It kind of got swatted right down to one of his players. Here we go. Easy check downs right there. Come on, baby. Wow, I thought he dropped that. What a play from Acrobat, man. Acrobat's just so good. <sighs> just squandered opportunities for me, man. There we go. Nice play. Throw that block. Chubb. Nice play, man. Come on. There we go. Don't necessarily really want to score there. You know, I would love to make that the last possession before half, but you know what? I'm just going to take my touchdowns. We haven't been super clean on O yet, although it really <laughs> hasn't been as bad as I feel like it's looked so far. Newsome! It's got to be picked! And he dunks on me, man! Come on! Wow, and it gets over top of me. Oh, this is so frustrating, man. Great dot, come on. And we drill it, that's a big three right there, baby. Come on, way to fight before half. We get ball here, we have a chance to take the lead. Gotta get seven, just have to. I'm not kicking three here. I'm, I'm getting seven. Brady. Oh, I mean, what is with the throws right now, Brady? Brady. Brady, 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 bro. You are stressing me out this game, dude. Eat bounds. Reek, come on, baby. Drag the toes. Drag the toes. Come on. All right, man. Coverage. I 
I tried to throw the ball away. Wow. Well, uh, I said I was going to kick three, and I think I meant it, man. Oh, that's just really tough, dude. Got to throw the ball away. Not really getting separation versus man right now either. We need to die here. D. Nothing open, really. Maybe the cross are late, but we just got shattered by OA. I mean, fumble, please, bro. Come on, he's running into a hit stick. Oh, he quick snapped me. Bye. Wow, I just got quick snaps. He just snapped the ball as fast as possible. I couldn't get any adjustments off. He's just bad. That's the last time I ever used Brady in any CFM. He just moves so slow. He's just too slow, man. Come on, Thomas. Come on, Thomas. Come on, Thomas. Let's go, Thomas. All right, got a little bit of life, man. A little bit of, a little bit of life. That's all we can ask for, just a little bit. Cough that up, please. Him having Omaha hurts. It hurts, I can't lie. <laughs> it hurts. Pick! Come on, man! Fumble, man! Oh my goodness! Like, come on, man. What am I supposed to do? Come on, man. Thank you. Loses Omaha. We needed this. No, oh, he bombed me. Wow, what a what a play. Good tackle. Wow. Just didn't see that coming. That was the first time I ran cover too. He just happened to call the perfect play call. Tackle. Cool. Gotta stand here if you want to win this game. Have to stand. I mean, really? <laughs> oh, the fact he doesn't get sacked there intentional grounding is crazy. I wasn't expecting the run. Wow. Third and goal from the seven and he ran and we lost because of it. I have two inside stuffs. Let me get lucky one time, man. Let me get lucky one time, please. Please. Hit him. Oh, that's a great hit. I mean, dude, like, <laughs> what? Get out there. Jesus. Just unbelievably frustrating, man. So obviously a disappointing loss, but I guess if there was any team we're gonna lose to, it's probably Lamar Jackson and the Ravens. The Ravens actually end up winning the Super Bowl in this league. They take home the $2,500. Honestly, they pummeled the Chiefs in the championship game, and then they beat the absolute crap out of the Packers in the Super Bowl as well. So yeah, like I said, if there was any team we're gonna lose to, it's probably the Ravens. And I think the consolation in this is the fact we actually played this game before the NFC Championship and the Super Bowl in our Panther series. It was all played in the same day. This was the first game of the day. And after I lost this, I was like, here we go again, man. Just can't make a really good run in these playoffs. Can't close it out. Like it's been tough. We've been in a Madden slump for the last few months. It's been so long since we won a Super Bowl. And honestly, I wanted to upload this episode before those games um it just didn't work out that way i think it would have added some gravity some more gravity you know to actually winning that super bowl but at the same time again it's been so long we've been in such a slump that i felt like the payoff was there regardless so yeah sucks losing here but again we did win the super bowl right after that we're catching fire man i promise you this was the last loss we needed to really ignite that fire get going, get out of the slump, and I promise you guys there's going to be a lot more Super Bowls in the future.